desperately looking for resources to get my new gun. I'm also trying to speedrun this capture mission to get the most money to buy a gun that makes trombone noises. That's about 10 minutes in one of my favorite games of this year, Mercenary Kings. The Metal Slug Cross Monster Hunter game is currently in its early stages of release. The game hits a weird itch that reminds me of when I used to collect Pokemon cards. It's a little sad. I learned how to play the game in high school when I collected cards all through middle school and I'm, that's not the point right now. Anyway, the game at its core mechanics is a time-based run through a level to get some type of goal. Typically, they're a gambit of capture, kill, gather, sabotage, and sometimes meeting another NPC. The missions are straightforward and timed, which actually adds the element of this weird classic style of actually speedrunning a level in order to get the most reward because the faster you do the level, the more rewards you get at the end. And most of the rewards come down to straight cash and straight resources. Um, Mercenary Kings comes with this constant positive feedback loop of gaining resources, spending resources, and going back out into missions, even past missions that you already completed in order to get previous resources and also get better times. Because every time you do a mission, whether old or new, you still get resources and money in order to get different things, sort of uh, mods to make the game a little different for you, such as giving you enemy health patterns, or uh, regenerative health, or constant weird fixes in order to make the game more suited for your playstyle. At its core, Mercenary Kings, it's about its guns. Guns are customizable by magazine, stock, barrel. Each of these elements give different feels of how you want to play. Like, I currently like to play with a machine gun over and over again. And sometimes I wanted to switch that around and actually use a snipe rifle in order to get a little bit more damage, but it didn't have the spray of a machine gun, but it had the fire rate. And it depends on pieces that I put together, I can make whatever gun I want, and the resources all come together to make this awesome gun that I really enjoy. You can also make a gun that's a toilet. Um, the game is constantly being updated with UI changes, gameplay fixes, and adding options in the menu. Um, the, the game is currently on Steam Greenlight for $15 and a great game to pick up this year.